Uh, you've asked me to record them. So somebody put in the, the chat that they did size times percentage. And somebody else told me I just did 72%, multiplied 72% by 120 and got my answer. I like that somebody said I took the 120 and turned it into 12 and then turn that into 1.2. And what that person did is they reduced this to a number that was, they basically reduced it by 10. And then they took this and did it times 10%. And once you have that, you can start figuring things out. I like to cross multiply. I've told you guys this last week as well. So if I have my original, And then I'm going to have a smaller new one because it's going to be 72% shorter. I can take the original, which was 120, and I can make it equal to a fraction of the percent and I would put the X here. And let me explain my reasoning here for my proportion. This one here is based on the percent. 72 out of 100 is equivalent to 72%. The new is going to be equal to the 72 because it's gonna be smaller. The original is gonna be equal to the 100 because 100 is the whole and this was the hole that we started with. And then I can do the cross multiplying we talked about last week. 72 times 120 is equal to 100 times X. I could multiply this and then divide both sides by 100, which is a little bit more challenging than what we saw the people up here saying. but I use cross multiplying or setting up a proportion for tons and tons of things. So it is uh, my go-to strategy, but that doesn't mean that it's the only strategy or the right one strategy. There's lots of ways to do this. So I'm gonna unpause you and open this back up to people being able to go between screens three and four and just give you some quiet space to work and we will come back went together if I notice something or definitely when we get to screen five. What I didn't do was the calculation for this because I wanted people to be able to go off and find it on their own. And when I calculated 72 times 120, and then I divided both sides by 100, I got 86.4. And if we're looking at that drawing that's on there, where it shows 100% of the original, and then it shows the amount that it's smaller by, 100% of this was your 120. And it's showing us that it was going to be reduced by 72% or 72% shorter. So this amount is 72%, which would be 86.4. What does that mean that this smaller amount is? Well, to find the difference between 72 and 100, I would subtract those two. And the percent here would be 28%. How did I find that? I took the 100 minus 72 to get the 28%. I would do the same to get the number here. 
120 minus the 86.4 I found is getting me 33.6. So that's the actual number for slide three. Thinking about that, there's a couple of things I did here. I took the original and I subtracted the percent. And I took the original actual number and I subtracted that to get these two numbers that are over here. So when we're looking at the, th the six equations on slide four, <clears throat> I want you to think about what you've seen me do that's ending up with some numbers that you're seeing there. You see that seven, 100 minus 72 for the first equation times B equals C. Well, I'm gonna tell you that first equation is not correct. The correct part though, is that 100 minus the 72. They're taking that percent and subtracting it, but what they forgot there was to convert it to an equivalent version of it, which would be a decimal. So before I send you off to groups, I just want you to think about finding that difference between the whole and the part we're looking for. Sorry, I saw some notes in the chat. Tufuano, you're cracking me up. And I'm going to go let you guys talk about this in breakout rooms to see if you can decide which three equations on slide four are the correct ones. And hint, the first one is not one of them. So just to review that, as we're looking at these three equations, B is equal to the original, C is equal to the new, so what we're saying in this first equation is the new, new bar is equal to 0.28 times the old bar or the original. That goes back to what one of your classmates said in the chat at the very beginning. If I multiply the size times the percentage, I get my answer. Somebody else said in the chat that they did 72 by 120 to get the answer. But what you now know is that they didn't just do 72 by 120, they also subtracted in order to find the answer, just like I did down here. Notice I did 72 times 120, or 0.72 is probably what they multiplied. And I had to sub divide by the 100 because I didn't do the decimal. And then I had to come down here and do the subtraction part. This 86.4 from the 120. So I want you to think about that's what these have in common because we're seeing that right here. This is the one whole minus that 0 0.72, which is standing for 72% because 72 hundredths. Let me write this as I say it. 72% is equal to 72 hundredths because 72 out of 100 is equal to the percent. And what's happening in the second equation is it's being multiplied by the B. So we've taken the variable away and we've done the math in the middle and then gone and said, but those two go with the original. So we're gonna multiply it times that. This takes the original and keeps it with the numbers. So that's how the three are related. And I think with that in mind, I'm gonna, pause the recording and let you move on.